What is going on everybody? It is Josh here and welcome back to Community Craft. Today we have a bit of a task ahead of us. We have to dig a tunnel to connect this um, underground blaze farm to the hobbit hole. First we gotta figure out the cords um, because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get it to one location to another if I don't know where I'm digging to. So let's get that started right away. I know that I want to branch it off of this wall and I'm going to make the doorway a 3x3 three three opening, which means the tunnel is probably going to be a 3x3 three three tunnel, which means I'm going to have to do a lot of digging. So let's get out a little bit of the ways. We'll go this way some. We need to make sure that it has a turn to a 3x3. Three three. Um, let's see, one, two, three, maybe like one more this way. We're going to have to fill in these holes, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. Um, <laughs> I'll be right back once I uh, clear up this area. So this is the goal. I need to figure out how deep down it is, but I know for right now, this is about... this. We need to build like a staircase to get down to it. But first, I want to make sure that we have a nice like hallway blocked in. So we don't have to deal with any of this stuff in this cave. Let's just use the dirt for now, because I don't know exactly how far I'm going with this yet. Because I don't know the exact location of the blaze farm. Now I'm not going to get shot by skeletons or have to deal with any of that nonsense. Hopefully from that. So let's see, right now I'm right about here. It would be so helpful if I had another person on so I could find the hole. Right now this height is 65. And the height of the farm... Bloosh! Okay, so the tunnel needs to end up at 120, so we got about 15 blocks over, and we got to go from 65 to 53. Okay, so let's type this in the chat right now. 65 to 53. And we got to go from 105 to 120. Okay. Now that I have where I need to dig to to get to, I can start the digging process. For the most part, uh, I also need to get my my um, Z, but I'll worry about that when I get to it. It's all good, all good in the neighborhood. We can easily dig this out. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get to the exact height we need to get to, which I'm guessing this is a good area to start digging down at. Since we'll let the hallway end here, this is where the hallway will end. And then we'll start with just a ladder system to going downwards, which should be fine. Not a ladder, stair system. I can hear the fire from the from the blaze farm. <laughs> Let's light this up. I don't want to actually dig into the blaze farm, so I actually do need to know my uh, other coordinate. Because we can always make the stairs turn. I just didn't want to um, make the hallway go straight into it. You know, I gotta have those twists and turns. It is underground. Not every path underground is perfect. Let's see, let's see where I need to be for my Z coordinates. Okay, we need to fill in this hole. I'm going to end up falling. There we go. It's better. We need to be at 181. It'll be 281. Negative 281 to be in the right position. Too bad I couldn't find any dwarves to do this. I went searching throughout the entire server. I didn't find a single player to uh, or dwarf around. So um, that's what we got to deal with. 280, so I gotta turn this way. <laughs> I can't even stairs properly. Oof. Alright, so right here. This is where we'll park the stairs again. Hopefully, this isn't in the way this time. I wanna sing a song, but I can't sing the song because of copyright reasons. But it goes a little something like this. He goes, dun, 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 dun. And that's where I have to stop because after that it becomes copyright. He goes something like, board underground. And then and then that's where I stop because I'm, I'm really getting close to that copyright. Ah, <laughs> uh, 53 is where I need to be at. I am at 57, 56, 55. Uh-oh, I'm still too close unless this isn't... Okay, that's, that's not an issue. We can easily fix that. Um, 6, 55. 
I'm not 54. And now 53. Yep, now we're at the right height for this wonderful contraption. So this is 282. So this is where the thing starts. So we'll just dig right here. Well, actually one more out. On top of that. There we go, and if we, if we overdig, we can just fill it in. I mean, we're going to have to dig out the walls an extra inch anyways on every single side. But that's fine. We can easily fix everything we're doing. So let's just dig up to this area. We're almost there. And it's just one more block that way, and then we can just kind of dig into the wall. We'll be perfectly... See, look, watch my perfection. Watch this perfection. I'm that good! I'm that good! I got in first try! Ha <laughs> ha! Now I just gotta get some walls to go around here. And then we'll be pretty much golden for this section. We'll go out a little bit more to make this seem a little bit more natural of a formation. Like it's a door to an actual hallway. There we go. That's gonna be more realistic. And I think the Hobbit will really enjoy this once I actually make that more of a Hobbit hole like door entrance. So let's get all the materials we need. We're going to need stairs and slabs and lots and lots and lots of logs. And we're going to need to empty my inventory of all the junk that I just acquired. Home, sweet home. Time to relax. Call it tonight and get all the materials we need in the snap of my finger. And just like that, all the wood I could possibly need is in my inventory. Ha ha, it didn't take me very long. Not long at all to collect that much wood for this build, and I probably still don't have enough. I did not do any calculations like I probably should have. Oh well, it should be fine. It's fine. Alright, I hope I grabbed the right wood, and I did, because I was not paying attention to what I needed. Alright, first things first, the flooring. The flooring is the most important part because it is beautiful. Oof. It's all made of dirt. I'll change that or in a lickety split. Just like that. And we'll just take out this as well. The rest of these are going to end up being stairs, which kind of sucks. I wanted to do it all slabs, but it's too far of a distance for that. Well, no, it's not, not, wait, it's not close enough for that or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we do that. And boppity, boopity, beepity, boppity. Uh, bop, bop, boop. And beep. Now I gotta do that through that the entire tunnel. And now that the floor is all filled in, we just come on in with this axe. And we scrape off all that stupid old bark. Because that looks disgusting. And this is how you build a hobbit floor, because now it looks like not bad, but not too good, because hobbit. And just like that, the technically this part of the flooring is done, and we just have to add the walls and make the roof exactly like the other roof. I never thought I'd have to expand so far on this little hobbit hole, so I didn't really have that planned out too well. But that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just happy to have something to do on the server. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Zombie. Would you like to meet Mr. X? He's my bestest friend in the whole wide world, and now you're dead. Just gonna fill in all this so it looks nice. And now we just need to make that into planks and fill in the holes. And just like that, the roof is practically almost done already. That's how easy this roof is, and it feels so tall. It looks amazing. 10 out of 10 wolf roof building technique is stairs. Always use stairs. Clearly when you do underground stuff, even though it doesn't really look good if you're trying to put lanterns on it. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Please don't kill me.
There we go. Now I got my stairs back in my hand. Okay. It is taking me a little bit to get this build <laughs> done. I thought it would take a lot less time than this. But then again, it is all underground, so it's a lot of extra prep to get it right and ready for actual decoration. I am not decorating it. That is, This is not my house. I was hired to build a tunnel to the farm that he told me to build, and then told me that since he built the farm, that, oh no, he's, he's fallen into a loophole of just doing him favors. Okay, that looks good. We just need some lights. We're going to use torches for right now. Usually I'll use lanterns, but I don't have any on me. So we're just going to light it up with this for right now to prevent spawns. Now we've got to figure out the stair situation here. There we go. Stairs going down are successful. Probably want to build some walls. That We probably want to yeah, build in these walls first, though, before we do anything else. I hate ha running into gravel. That is painful. My goal is to make this as, as roomy as possible because I want it to be a good staircase. I'm like, look, it looks great. I think it looks good for a staircase. It's like, you kind of get down here and get fine, and you're fine with it. You know, it's not too bad. It's not too big of a transition. I think it'll work. I'm going to have issues when I get to right here, though. Just, just right here, though. Like... All of this wall right here is a bit of an issues area. So I might switch the stone or something around here. Or just in this area we have something to replace it with. Alright, this should fix the problem. We'll switch the stone bricks for the walls and keep the roof wood and keep the floor wood. Um, hopefully it doesn't actually burn down everything when I start doing that. We gotta be very careful right here because this is where the fire will start to spread. If I'm not careful, I will burn down everything I worked hard for. Oh, that was close. And this one's probably not an issue though. Yeah. It's, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would, but. Once I got over a few issues of stuff with the walls, it is working out just fine and dandy. We had that lava issue where it, it might have been too close to this lava waterfall. I still don't know if it's still too close to this water lava fall. But we will fix it if it is. If the whole entire house burns down, oopsies. But I will just uh, rebuild it. I'm, I'm a good builder. <laughs> but other than that, we're practically done here for the most part. We just got to finish up these stairs, and then maybe I can show him them, and he might be impressed. I have no idea if I even will see him in today or, or anything, so it might we might not see him for a while. And while I'm still touching up this build, I think I might work on making these tubes look a lot nicer and a lot more easy to access uh, from the surface, because if they're not easy to access from the surface, it might create issues in the future. I've got a little bit more on this tunnel system because I realized it's a little, a little small but on this doorway right here. Boom, just like that. And we just need to get the last few blocks and then I'll show you the finished product. And now I just have to do the flooring. The most painful part of this entire build is this flooring. I did not, I, I should not have used the design that a friend made for me to do. Oh my goodness, it is such an annoying pattern. The, the weave pattern on flooring is not fun. I do not recommend it. Oh no, the flooring fell in. The entire, all the walls fell apart. Oh no, I, I'm, now I'm going to have to fix it. And now the flooring should be practically done. Hopefully forever, so I don't have I don't want to do this again. This is a painful process. And then I had to change up my entire building design because it didn't because it was it would burn because of the magma. And now I also gotta fix this wall because he didn't when he built this he left holes in his design. I can't believe it. 
polished blackstone, and we're gonna need some slabs for that too. Um, hmm. Now the question is, what flooring should? I guess this flooring should go out to this to this part to the yeah, to that part right there. So we'll just make that flooring go out. Now I need andesite. So now I'll pick up the andesite. After tons and tons and tons of hard work, I have almost completed this project. I just need this. I need two of these. And one of these. And now I'm practically almost done. I just need to place them down right here. One, and of course, we need to place these two down. Two, and three. Boom. Done. Completed build. Did it within... I probably a long amount of time don't know how long it took me and I'm not even done with the build because guess what I have to do now I'm gonna fix these elevators because they fell apart whenever I um when I uh, put stuff uh, down and it just broke so I think I think my favorite my best idea I think I'm just gonna do is like some cool uh, I'm gonna strip the wood all the way up I think that'll look nice and smooth and the flooring I guess I'll just make uh, the slab We'll play a mini game. Let's see how many of these. Actually, this will be fun. This will be really fun. Once I'm done with this, we'll see how many, um, how much of this I can strip while falling down. All right, so we'll leave it like that, and we'll get this one in a minute. But first, I want to try to strip it. Let's find out. Let's find out. Already, go. Okay, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna need to get a new axe, but I think this is pretty much. All I'm gonna probably be able to do today in this video. So what we did was we redesigned the elevators to make them look a little bit nicer. We built that tunnel all the way to the Blaze Farm, just like I was requested. And since there's no one else to really, I guess I can try to get it to show it to him. But if I don't get that, then it won't be in the shot. So in case I don't see you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It wasn't very eventful, I know, I know, but it's hard to make a story work without much without anybody to actually help play on with the story it's a lot hard it's a lot hard to make a story single person rather than having a ton of people to help you out so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope i'll probably see you all later bye guys